Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video and in this video we are going to talk about transmission of nerve impulse through synapse. Nerve impulse and synapse, these are the two important words that we need to understand first. Whenever I use the word synapse, it simply means the place where two neurons meet is called as synapse. When I say two neurons, neuron has two parts, the cyton and the exon. While the cyton has the dendrons and the exon has the exon endings. So when I say two neurons, it means the exon ending of one neuron and the dendron of the next neuron. Wherever they meet, that place is called as synapse and one part will be of exon, other part will be of dendron. The exon part I can call it as pre-synaptic knob and the dendron part is called as post-synaptic knob. Every time it is fixed for exon it will be pre-synaptic neuron and for dendron it will be post-synaptic neuron only. The neurons they never touch each other, they always leave a small gap. This gap is called as synaptic cleft. This synaptic cleft helps in the transmission of the impulse. So whenever we talk about synaptic cleft, what is synaptic cleft? A small gap in the synapse which is somewhere around 20 to 30 nanometer. So the gap is of 20 to 30 nanometer. This gap is filled up by the help of special chemicals called as neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are those chemicals that helps in the conduction of the impulse from one neuron to the another. So if the impulse has to travel from the presynaptic neuron to the postsynaptic neuron, it has to travel through the help of acetylcholine. What is acetylcholine? It's an example of neurotransmitter. But we need to understand one most important enzyme plays an important role here that is choline esterase. What is the role of choline esterase? It breaks the acetylcholine. So choline esterase breaks the acetylcholine in two parts acetic acid and choline. So what we need to understand? Two things. Acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter that helps in the transmission of impulse from one neuron to the another and at the same time choline esterase is the enzyme that will break the acetylcholine into acetic acid and choline. Why this breaking is required we will see it later. Synaptic vesicles plays a very important role in the transmission of impulse because somewhere or the other we need to understand that these neurotransmitters or the chemicals they get packed in the vesicles. Let's understand now I'm drawing one exon this is called as presynaptic knob we can say it's an exon ending the exonic knob part these are all the vesicles the lower part is nothing but the dendron you can say the post synaptic neuron the one which is going to receive the impulse remember exon will always take the impulse away from the cyton and the dendrons will always bring the impulse towards the cyton and on the dendron the knob you can say there are receptors so the green color are nothing but the receptors what kind of receptors neurotransmitter receptors these are the layered structure so we can say it's a double membrane and this is one of the most important diagram that can come in your exam as well as it can be asked in the neat exam diagrammatic based question this is the covering so upper part is the exon and the lower part is the dendron when you look at the exon and dendron i have shown some gap that gap is called as synaptic cleft and what was the size of the synaptic cleft if you can recall it was 20 to 30 nanometer 
Now inside this we need to show some vesicles. Vesicles are those that will contain the neurotransmitters because these vesicles only get fused with the membrane of the presynaptic neuron and then they transfer the acetylcholine that will help in the bridging of the gap or the synaptic cleft. So once the impulse is traveling into the vesicles, the vesicles fuses with the membrane of the presynaptic knob. The acetylcholine comes in the gap of the synaptic cleft and it binds with the receptors of the post-synaptic neuron and it forms a bridge. This bridge helps in the transmission of impulse. This will allow the impulse to travel from the exon to the dendron. But the problem comes here, the acetylcholine which has entered in the synaptic cleft cannot go back as acetylcholine into the presynaptic neuron. So what is going to happen here? The enzyme choline esterase plays a very important role. What is the role of the choline esterase? If you can recall, choline esterase is an enzyme that is going to break the acetylcholine into acetic acid and choline. So this acetylcholine which is present in the synaptic cleft will be broken down into acetic acid and choline and then it will travel back into the presynaptic neuron where it will again combine or join to form acetylcholine. So in this way the impulse travels through the synapse. Let's understand this in writing part. As the impulse reaches the synapse, it forms a synaptic vesicle which fuses with the presynaptic membrane and the, all the neurotransmitters, they are transferred or released by in the synaptic cleft. These neurotransmitters now, it matches with the receptors of the post-synaptic neuron and they form a bridge. Now once the bridge is completed, the impulse moves from one neuron to the another or I can say impulse travels from one neuron to another. And as I told you, the problem will be with respect to acetylcholine. So the acetylcholine cannot go back because there are no receptors available in pure form. Therefore, the enzyme choline esterase breaks the acetylcholine into acetic acid and choline which goes back in the presynaptic neuron and it forms acetylcholine again. So in this way the impulse travels through synapse. Let's see some of the more neurotransmitters. Adrenaline is fight or flight neurotransmitter produced in stressful or exciting situation. It increases heart rate and blood flow leading to a physical boost and heightened awareness. Next neurotransmitter is not adrenaline. It's a concentration neurotransmitter. It affects attention and responding actions in the brain and involve in fight or flight response. Contraction of blood vessels increases blood flow. Next dopamine which is a pleasure neurotransmitter feeling of pleasure and also addiction, movement and motivation. People repeat behavior that leads to dopamine release. GABA is gamma aminobutyric acid which is a calming neurotransmitter, calms firing nerves in CNS, high level improves focus, low level causes anxiety, also contribute to motor control vision. Acetylcholine is a learning neurotransmitter, involves in thought, learning and memory, activates muscles, actions in the body, also associated with attention and awakening. Next neurotransmitter is glutamate which is memory neurotransmitter, most common brain neurotransmitter involved in learning and memory, regulates the development and creation of nerve contacts. Endorphin is euphoria neurotransmitter released during exercise, excitement and sex producing well-being and euphoria. Redu reducing pain, biologically active section is shown. 
Hope friends you have understood the synapse and the various types of neurotransmitters most important for your NEET exam. If you have understood, don't forget to give a like to the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for such easy videos. Thank you very much.